Hi, thank you for tuning in again to Mama Sanity. Um, having a goal is important, whether it's big or small. Um, I always say start out with the small things, and once you accomplish those, then it'll be much easier to accomplish the bigger things in life. Um, so that's what I want to talk to you about today. So let's get started. Wake up earlier. Smile more. Starting, start to run. Make a certain recipe that you would have been wanting to try. Travel. Say I love you to someone. Laugh more. Discover the universe. Sing even if you can't sing well. Sew something. Sleep well and be in peace with yourself. Take a picture on top of Mount Everest. No matter what kind of goal, have one. And fight for it. Wake up every day with motivation for that goal and fall asleep with a smile of motivation with that goal. Live your life to the fullest every second. Do exactly what you want and accomplish it. You decide and you create it. So never doubt your capacities and go do it. I wanted to share that with y'all today because like I said, I'm starting a new substitute teaching and that has been my lifelong dream in the past. Um, and then I got scared and I did nursing, which helped me out with my first son, which was awesome. And so now I'm going to see if it's still my, my dream. Um, these goals, like I said, start out small. It doesn't have to be a life-changing goal like a career or a certain place to live or, you know, something major. It could be something small, like, like it said, make a recipe that you've been wanting to try or, you know, um, I love listening to music. So, like whether I'm happy or sad or depressed or angry or frustrated or whatever, um, music is my thing. So maybe, I don't know, take a drive for 20 minutes and just blare the radio, you know, and have that as your goal to do once a week to kind of decompose and, de and not decompose, but de decompress and help, help out your life. The point is to have a goal because if you don't have any goals, it's kind of like you're just going through the motions day to day and life becomes like bleh. Um, so if you have a goal, and I'm a big I'm a big list maker and I love to make lists. I have them all over my house. Um, so um, it feels good when I put a check off of something like I accomplished that or I did that or that's done or I don't have to worry about that. So a goal starts out small with something and you do it and you accomplish it and then you can go to bigger things. And then today I want to end with um, about being you. And I know I've said this a million times, but I feel like it's so important because um, we, my family and I watched a movie um, last night about it's uh, fighting with the family. Anyways, it's a really good movie. You should, should watch it. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But um, the girl tried to change who she is, and she didn't only change on the outside, but she changed on the inside and it made her weaker because that's not who she is. So she came back um, as herself and kicked butt, literally, and um, accomplished her dream and her goal. So this all kind of ties into having a goal, but not changing who you are to reach that, just um, being yourself. So here we go. It is important to know who you are what you stand for, and how you see yourself. You have your whole life for you, and you determine what you do with it, and how you experience your journey. There is no one that can tell you who you are because you decide for yourself. You make your own choices, you choose your own direction, and you determine your own steps. Think about who you are. Think about how you position yourself against others. Think of your qualities and your intentions. See yourself as a person you want to be without thinking about the status or score or the people around you. Nothing or nobody should affect who you are as a person. You are, you are who you are in your terms of thinking. The life you have for you is a chance to follow your dreams, to discover, to develop, and to enjoy yourself. Imagine a life in which you were completely yourself, in which you fulfill your dreams. Live your life. I wanted to end with that today because, like I said, we watched that movie, and I had wrote this before the movie, but it's just, it kind of pointed out true um, how 
a lot of people, they see something that they want, okay? And so they say, oh, well, the person down the street has a nice house and they have all this money and they have this career and they have this, blah, blah, blah. and so they try to be more like that. Maybe I should be more like them, okay? And so they try for a little bit and it doesn't work out. Why? Because that's not who you are. And so God created you to be you, and I know I've said that a million trillion times, but it's true, okay? So I'm an outgoing, bubbly, peppy, like very, very talkative person, okay? Some people love that about me. Some people can't stand that about me. It's all good, right? Because I'm going to still be me. I'm going to be me. So I'll go up to Joblo in the store and be like, hey, I like your shoes. Where'd you go get that? You know, that's just me. That's who I am. And so my whole point is don't change who you are to try and fit in or to try and reach a certain goal because it, in, in the long run, it's not going to work. Um, you be you and find out what you were made to do. So um, have a goal, be you, and stay positive. And until next time, I hope y'all stay sane.